A portion of Central Avenue Pike is closed to through track F traffic after a sinkhole opened up Monday. Knoxville Stormwater and Public Service crews are working to fill that hole in. It's in the 5500 block of the road north of Merchant Drive and Cedar Lane. Kristen Gallant is live this afternoon there for us and found out this is really affecting a lot of people who use that road, including our first responders. Kristen. Hey, Summer, that's right. I've been out here most of the, the day, and I can tell you this is a pretty busy road. Now, most of these vehicles are having to take the detour route because of this sinkhole right here. And I can tell you even that includes first responders. We have people coming here and turning around right here in front of the fire station, so that, that can create a problem. There are several signs on Central Avenue Pike saying the road is closed, but that hasn't stopped drivers from trying to pass. To cut through, uh, it's not safe for them and it's not safe for us. A sinkhole has stopped traffic on what is usually a heavily traveled road. East Tennessee and uh, Kentucky, uh, we're in karst terrain, so uh, sinkholes can pop up just about anywhere where we have this limestone un underground. Those nearby started to realize there was an issue with the pavement and now the city's public service crews are working to fill the hole. The road started dipping in so obviously uh, makes it uncomfortable for drivers. We've done the majority of the work under the one lane of traffic. We hope to have it built back up uh, today and possibly paving tomorrow. The new detour route is affecting the fire station nearby. It lengthens it a little bit uh, depending on what traffic is like because if we have to drive around the block, so does everybody else. They cover a wide area. We cover almost to Broadway all the way to Pleasant Ridge Road. And they answer several calls a day. Anywhere from 7 to 15 calls a day. We run about uh, 2,500 calls a year. They'll have to take the detour for a few more days to get to some of those calls until the road is fixed. When I talked to them this morning, they saw that the sinkhole is actually bigger than what they originally thought it was. So that's why I think it's going to take an extra day to get it figured out. Now, both the city of Knoxville engineers and firefighters say don't ignore these road signs. You can cause danger to yourself or those working on this part of the road. You can also lengthen the response time of first responders. Reporting in Knoxville, Kristen Gwant, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you very much. City of Knoxville officials say there was a slight delay because of two fiber optic lines having to be redirected by a private contractor, but... The city is back on the project and they hope to be done in the next two days.